Today, I'm going to show you what happens if the battery in the remote control very low. What do you do and how to replace the battery? Well, it didn't work well on the door. See if I can start this. See, it says key not detected. Ah, see, when it's getting closer, the light is on. Yeah, so the light is on. So I press. It's still not working. First of all, let me explain how this works. There's an antenna on the door handle. You need very low frequency, like 120 kilohertz to active this key. So that's very short range. Around the perimeter of the car, if you're in this range, radio frequency will activate this key and the key will send like a few hundred megahertz higher frequency and send the ID back and that's how you open the door and let's see I'm at this distance I'm pressing this key this would open when I press this it send 125 kilohertz to activate the circuit here and when they send the radio frequency back the door would be open but what if I don't have a battery or battery is very weak there's a mechanical key you can open you can take it out and you the key to open it and now instead of uh, using the radio frequency ID you can also use a remote because this will be a longer range if you press this open you can go pretty far to the longer range to open assuming the battery still not too weak so you can either use mechanical key to open or try the remote control even though the low frequency activation doesn't work the remote control sometimes still works what if I don't have a battery? Let's uh, open this remote control. I open it, I take the battery out. So I have this close by, see it doesn't work. So let's open with the key. How do we start the engine without the battery? See this without the battery, I'm trying to get it closer because the range can be very short. See, when it's closer, this has light. That means you can actually start it with this. So that proof, even without battery, you should be able to come in with the mechanical key, have this remote control as close to here. And let's see, if I depress the pedal, see the this car would start. And if I move this pretty far, th this is still on. So ignition is guaranteed, doesn't turn off once it's started. So you don't have a fear to put this uh, further from the ignition button, the engine will not turn off itself. So you only need to start the engine when you have a remote control very close. Without the battery, you cannot lock it here, remember? And when we had the inside, it was a passive RFID. So the reader there for the passive RFID work. You can either use the key here or you open the door and lock it from inside the panel and then you lock this way. Now there's no prevention if you accidentally left your key inside. <laughs> you don't want to leave your key inside. Be, Be careful not to forget your key. Let's see how we replace the batteries. You need to check your user's guide. So this is the type for my car. It's the type of battery. It's around 20 millimeter in diameter and 2.5 millimeter in thickness. You can have a little bit thinner or, or thicker one as long as it will fit. Some remote key, you need a screwdriver and this doesn't. Way you open by pressing this, you take out the key and then there's a little slot here you can see flat screwdriver try to just pry this open then once it open a little bit here you just use your fingernail go around the perimeter and open it all see this is uh, what it looks like and here's the battery you need to replace remember the polarity the the positive sign is on the back so this is the original one it's like this remember that when you put it back the new one is like this and you just close see snap back in please subscribe like it favorite and share it and leave comments below